What's up? This is Tom, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your WordPress site load faster. If you ever ran your website through GT Metrics and saw things like minify HTML, minify CSS, defer parsing of JavaScript, add expires headers, optimize images, content delivery network, and other things you probably don't give a shit about, but you know they're super important for your website speed. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to fix those step by step. If that all sounds like Japanese to you, you can hire my boy Pronaya on Freelancer, and he's $25 an hour. All you gotta do is click that link and search for user BD Kamul. He's optimized my website to load in 0.5 seconds, but rest assured, I will show you how to do everything. Just know that you do have some help in Bangladesh if you need it. So go ahead and log into your WordPress dashboard and let's do this. First, go into your plugins menu and deactivate any plugins you're not currently using. Once you're done with that, go to all inactive plugins. You can delete all of these, assuming you're not using them. Now go to add new plugin. Do a search for the P3 plugin performance profiler. Install and activate it. Now head down into the P3 plugin performance profiler and click scan now. Do a start scan and an auto scan. Once it's done, go ahead and click view results. Here you'll find your slowest loading plugins. You'll either want to delete these or replace them with faster, more lightweight plugins. For example, if you're using a slider plugin for your website, like Revolution Slider, that can be a heavy plugin that takes up a lot of load time. But a lightweight slider plugin like Siloquy can load much faster. And instead of using a Google Analytics plugin to insert your tracking code, you can actually insert that directly into your footer. So just try to minimize as many plugins as you can. If you don't want to worry about how many plugins you're using, I would recommend upgrading to a faster host. It is the number one thing WordPress recommends in their optimization guide. I've been with GoDaddy, I've been with Bluehost, I've been with HostGator, and I've been with WP Engine, and no one compares to SiteGround. If you do your research, you'll see people who have migrated to SiteGround have a much faster load time. I'm hosted with SiteGround and my website loads in 0.5 seconds. If you do plan on upgrading, you can do three plans. The higher the plan, the more server resources you will get, and that is the primary factor to site speed when it comes to hosting. I would go with Grow Big or Go Geek since it comes with unlimited websites and you get priority support. Remember, SiteGround will migrate you for free, so it's as simple as signing up. If you want to see a side-by-side -side comparison of all their plans, you can see the See Plan Details link. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see the We Allocate the Resources You Need. Under the Server tab, those are the server resources I was referring to. And as you upgrade plans, you basically get double the amount of server resources. Many hosts include Cloudflare, which is a free service that improves both your website speed and security. You can usually access this in your cPanel. In SiteGround, it would be right here. All you would do is scroll down, activate that website you want Cloudflare on, and then click Manage. Go to your settings. And you can copy the same settings that I use. If your host does not come with Cloudflare, I definitely recommend signing up.
Now we're going to install a cache plugin which will take care of multiple items in your GT Metrics report. I recommend WP Fastest Cache, but if you use the W3 Total Cache plugin, I do have a tutorial on configuring those settings. But for now, search WP Fastest Cache. Install and activate it. Then you'll see the WP Fastest Cache tab on the left. You simply want to copy the same settings I use. When you're done, click Submit. Now go to the CDN tab. A content delivery network is also recommended in the WordPress optimization guide. There's a lot of free shitty CDNs out there, but Max CDN is the best one. And you can use my coupon to get 25% off your plan, or if you go to their homepage they also have an option for a free trial. Just sign up for a plan and enter your details. If you sign up through my coupon, you can see you get 25% off here, or you can just get two months free with the annual plan. You do not need to add locations or edge SSL to your plan. Once you get into your dashboard, go to the Zones tab. Now go to Create Pole Zone. The name can be anything. The label can be the same thing. And the origin server URL is just going to be your website. Go ahead and click Create. Close this tab. And there's a few things we're going to want to do here. First go to the settings and enable strip all cookies. I had my settings professionally configured by the Mac CDN team and I'm just showing you what they did. Then go to SEO, enable canonical URL, then go back to summary, then go back to WP fastest cache. Click this button, click next. Now we're just going to copy our CDN and origin URL from MaxCDN to WP Fastest Cache. Go ahead and click Next. All file types can be selected. Next. And you're ready to go. There's one final step we have to do in Mac CDN. Go to Manage Cache and Purge All Files. That's it for Mac CDN. And you can probably retest your website in GT Metrics, and you should already see it. your load times are much faster. Now I'm going to show you how to optimize images on your website. If you go to your GT Metrics report and go to Serve Scaled Images, this just means images need to be resized. And GT Metrics will tell you the correct dimensions, and in this case it's 250 by 250 pixels. So all we would do is click this image, resize it to 250 by 250 pixels, and then locate it on our website. You can see it's in the widgets section right here. So once we have resized that image, then we're going to go into the widget section where that particular image is located, go to text, and we can see the image right here. So first we're going to re-upload the new image, click edit, then grab the new image's URL. Copy it, go back to the widget section, and replace the old image with the new one. Go ahead and save changes, then refresh the page where that image was located. Grab the URL, and if you test it in GT metrics, and go back to serve scaled images see that we're at 
If you see any errors in the specify image dimensions section, that just means we need to specify a width and height in the HTML. This can also be in the CSS, and GT Metrics will tell you the correct dimensions. The final step to image optimization is losslessly compressing all images on your website. Imageify is a free WordPress plugin up to 100 megabytes per month. All you have to do is sign up using your email address, and then you will get to a dashboard. You'll want to go to API integration, and copy your access token. Now go to your WordPress dashboard, and search for the Imageify plugin. Then go to your settings, and click Imageify. Enter your API key, and save and go to bulk optimization. If you scroll down, you can set your compression level to normal, aggressive, or ultra. I recommend aggressive. Go ahead and click Imageify them all. and the plugin will automatically optimize all images on your website. If you've reached your monthly limit, you can either wait till next month or you can pay for a plan. And that is how you optimize your images in WordPress. The next step is installing and running the WP Optimize plugin. This will delete post revisions, auto drafts, and spam from your WordPress site. Just go into your WordPress dashboard and install and activate the plugin. When you're done, you'll see the WP's Optimize button at the bottom. You want to make sure you deselect Remove Unapproved Comments just in case those are legitimate. Once you're done, simply click Process. And that will delete all the shit from your WordPress site. The next step is to make sure WordPress core, themes, and plugins are updated. I would check your hosting cPanel to see if they have an automatic update option, at least for WordPress core. Go to the Dashboard tab and click Updates. Simply select all the plugins and the themes, and go ahead and update them. Once you're done, you can return to your WordPress dashboard. Congratulations! All your WordPress software is updated. Just like we want to use fast, lightweight plugins, we also want a fast, lightweight theme. Instead of having features caked into your theme, you want to use a lightweight theme and rely on plugins to only add the functionality you need. All my websites use themes from StudioPress, and you can take a look at them. I know a lot of you probably don't want to change your theme, but this definitely does affect your site speed because these themes are super well coded, have built-in SEO, built-in security, and are recommended by the founder of WordPress, Matt Mullenweg, Yoast, and Matt Cuts from Google. So next time you're planning a redesign, be sure to check out StudioPress. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, you can leave me a comment or don't forget about Pronaya in Bangladesh. Now, if you want to rank your website higher in Google, I do have other videos for that, like configuring Yoast SEO plugin settings or researching better focus keywords, content optimization, Google Analytics, Google Search Console, local SEO, Google Maps. If you feel like nerding out with me on some of that stuff, you know where to find me. YouTube. Yeah.